Hey, what's up, everybody? Today, we're going to talk about the Cowboys offense. In particular, we're going to talk about Kellen Moore. Okay, this is serious. Cap more time. All right, baby. Cap more time in full effect. As you know, we're coming up on week two. Week one, complete utter disaster. Anemic offense, to say the least. All right. Uh, the front office still gets the 100% of the blame here. Pointing fingers. Uh, front. It starts with the front office, but there are the uh, you know there are the pieces of this puzzle that have to uh, take on some of the blame here. All right. And my number one target is Kellen Moore. All right. Is it time to fire Kellen Moore? Oh, it's it's only week one. Relax. Those those guys. Like I said in my first video, get out of here. We are tired of relaxing and, and with no results. So it's this is results-oriented business. And, um, oh, he, he's had the number one offense before and this and that. Well, you know, it's just, uh, it's just not a good offense, man. All right. Cowboys, I mean, just, just think about this. Think about this just in general. All right. Has any NFL team promoted their third string quarterback, you know, to <laughs> offensive coordinator in such a short span? All right. So Cowboys, you know, promoted Kellen Moore in 2019 to offensive coordinator. He comes from the Scott Linehan tree. Well, you got to remember Kellen Moore, you know, was with Scott Linehan in Detroit, those lousy Detroit Lions. That loser mentality has brought been brought over to the Cowboys along with, with Garrett. I mean, it was a perfect couple, all right? Just the same old Garrett offense, mix it in with Scott Linehan's losing mentality. Um, oh, the offensive mind. Who? You know, is it just the Joneses coming out here saying, oh, he's a great offensive mind? No, he's not. No, he's not. Can't get the ball to the playmakers. That first drive against Tampa Bay, terrible. Mixing in, got too cute. You know, sprinkled in some stupid uh, reverses, <laughs> and they all were, were negative plays. You know, you didn't get any. You didn't get any positive yardage out of the gimmick plays. As you're watching football, you're looking at, at the offenses. You're looking at Kansas City, attacking, high paced. You know, you're looking at. Uh, Buffalo Bills, high attacking, you know, and um, and this sort of thing. You know what I mean? I mean, each of these teams has at least one star receiver, right? And they're able to attack and move the ball. Cowboys supposedly have this the star receiver in CeeDee Lamb, which I still think he's a very good wide receiver. So I count him as, as you know, one of our star wide receivers. So, you know. We should be able to move the ball. This scheme, it is terrible, bro. Like, Kellen Moore, he has to have all the pieces in place for this thing to, to, to run as a number one offense. Got to have a really good offensive line. You got to have you gotta have real badass. You got to have two badass receivers. All this stuff. I mean, it's too much. You know, it's... it's uh, it's not good enough, and this is this is why the Dolphins didn't hire him. You know, if I was Dolphins, I would have hired, you know, uh, McDaniel's as well. You know, coming out of that Shanahan tree, very attacking, very, you know, attacking the weaknesses of the defense, using your players. I mean, you see Kellen Moore doing that? <laughs> I don't. So the question is. Is it time to fire Kellen Moore? Is this the season? I think it is. All right. Supposedly, Mike McCarthy was going to have more of a hands-on this offseason. We didn't see it in this week one. So here the questions are again. Oh yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna work with him some more, and we're gonna correct, you know, some some of these issues and this and that. You just take the playbook, bro, and get him out of here, man. Why are we always training on the job fucking people here, bro? Gosh. You cannot do on the job training here at this at the cost of, of your season, at the cost of the record. Alright, and this is what the Cowboys keep doing here. 
They keep messing with these. And it's always the offensive coordinator positions, right? Oh, you know, we, we, we Bill Parcells resigned. He, he was tired of the bull crap with, with the Joneses. Uh, let, let's start the interview process, but let's install Jason Garrett from Miami out of nowhere. Let, let's say he's an offensive mind. Let's plug him in here. Whoever we hired is going to be stuck with this guy. They did it to Wade Phillips, right? And they're doing it here with Mike McCarthy. They didn't let him pick his offensive staff. We, we got, we got idiot Kellen Moore. We got Doug Nussmeyer, old ass dude, quarterback coach. This team's out of touch, bro. They're out of touch, man. And it, it, it's time to start picketing at the star. All right. It is. Enough is enough, man. Like, you know, this week too, I'm hoping that we were able to do something here. You know what I mean? Uh, but, you know, would I be surprised if we don't? No, not, not at all, man. Um, my, my worry is this guy, Kellen Moore, is going to have the, the built-in excuse here that, you know, oh, Dak Prescott's out. So, oh, you know what? It's not his fault. Dak Prescott's out. So, we'll see what these guys do, man. But for me, Mike McCarthy did really well in Green Bay, the West Coast offense. We we don't we don't have any any of that here. We don't have West Coast offense schemes here. You know, we're not we're not pushing the pace. We're not, you know, attacking the defense. We're not showcasing our playmakers. We're we're showcasing undrafted free agents. We're we're showcasing you know just a bunch of it's like you're you're putting plays in a jar here and you're shaking it up. Let's see what play we do here, no matter the circumstance. Like he can't read he Kellamore cannot read the defense, man. You know? I don't give a crap what he did at Boise State and that's a crap. That's college. That's Boise State. That's not even power five, man. This is like I don't know, man. I, I'm just uh, thoroughly disappointed right now. And uh, if you're going to start pointing fingers, I think the first head that needs to roll needs to be Kellen Moore. It's not going to be Dan Quinn. And uh, it shouldn't be McCarthy. It needs to be Kellen Moore because these guys forced Kellen Moore onto McCarthy. All right? Get him out of the equation and then roll with that. All right? Let, let's get that West Coast, like, legitimate offense in here. All right? Guys, let me know what you think. All right. Is it time for Kellen Moore to be canned? I'm talking specifically about Kellen Moore. I know some people are going to come in here and say, oh, Mike McCarthy, this and that. I want to know from, from your point of view, does Kellen Moore need to be fired? Yes or no? Simple as that. Let me know in the comments. Continue to like, subscribe, and share. And go Cowboys. Peace.